We've taped this joint here all the way down. And we've also taped the ceiling or the, uh, the top of this wall. Um, the next thing we'll do is I'm gonna sand. I've ran out of mud, so I gotta run and get mud. But um, instead of doing that, I'm going to just kind of sand this joint, sand up there a little bit. And then we will also get to insulation on, um, on the other side. We'll insulate this wall as well. So we'll show you that. So we've sanded those areas. You can see it's still, even though it's been about 24 hours, it's still a little bit wet. So I didn't go um, over where I taped. That's kind of where it's still a little, not totally dry. You can see kind of how it's darker. You guys can see that. Um, also, you can kind of see the tape through it. So I'm not gonna sand a whole bunch there. I just sanded kind of on the edges. Um, I'll come back and do another coat to, you know, build that up a little bit more anyway. And so I don't want to sand that when it's a, the tape's showing through or uh, it's wet. So we'll hold off on that. We'll get some more mud tomorrow. And um, so the next thing we'll do is we will get this wall insulated since we've already got that all set. We're into the fish room now. Um, sorry for the audio here, um, but you can see here's the back side of the wall we've been working on. So these studs here are 24 inches on center, and then this last one here is about 15. So we'll rip uh, the, the insulation when we get to that part. We'll start here, and um, we'll just kind of start from the bottom, work our way up and around, and uh, get that all insulated and we'll staple it in on the studs. So we'll have you follow along. Welcome back to the biotopes. So we are continuing to work on the fish room. Uh, I don't know if you can see my breath or not, but it is pretty cold. I'm inside the garage, but it's gotta be 20 degrees outside. So just to recap, so far we have installed electrical outlets in the fish room. We have installed insulation in the attic area above the fish room. We framed out this wall behind me uh, I'm standing right now in our garage. The fish room is on the other side of this wall. <clears throat> so I'm finishing this side on our garage uh, side where we park. I've uh, filled, obviously the drywall is up. Right now I'm working on taping and mudding. And my hopes are to get this, uh, this side of the drywall done. And uh, that's what we'll see in this video. So stay tuned. I'm gonna turn you around and kind of show you where I'm at right now, what the progress is, what issues I've had, and what I'm gonna do to get that fixed. This is the where the ceiling and the drywall meet. You see the ceiling's got this texturized thing. So I don't know if it's such a big deal, but I just tried to fill in. I've taped all of this. This corner is taped. Um, it's kind of tough. It's not easy. Obviously, I've got some some paper that's sticking through here. I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, sand this down and, and put another coat on some of this. But uh, not too bad. Today, what I'm gonna do is uh, sand this top edge here a little bit, and then I'm going to also sand this bottom edge. Kind of scrape that off with with a knife. And then I'll put a, another coat on this bottom edge and fill that in. And then I'll be able to come back and scrape. Some of this, if this is textured, it's not a big deal because this is already texturized anyway. 
and uh, we'll get that done. And then also working on this inside corner, I'll tape and mud that inside corner and work on some of the seams. And we'll see how far we get. Should be fun. I just finished doing this side of the tape on the uh, where the drywall and the ceiling is. So you can see what I did is I just kind of smoothed that down. There's no tape sticking out anymore. And um, you only want to do one side at a time. So I, I did the top edge yesterday and then today I came back and did this bottom edge. So that is all done. We'll let that dry and we'll sand before it finished, but that should be it for that corner. So next I'm gonna do this other inside corner here with uh, tape and mud. I did this one side, you'll see, you only wanna do one side at a time, so I did this side first. I'll let that dry, and I'll come back and do this side. That way, as I'm doing this side, this side's wet, it's not getting messed up in that corner, so I'll let that dry and then come back and do this side. This side was a little bit tough just because I had this garage door in the way, so I had like a, a two inch knife and a six inch knife, and it would just, a little bit cumbersome to get into, so it's not perfectly feathered. I couldn't get quite enough in there, but uh, you know, for a beginner, not bad. And uh, you know, these are 10 foot ceilings, so it's kind of a, you're up and down the ladder a bunch as you see. So anyway, we'll let that dry. And then we'll start working on some of these other seams and get these taped and muddled, which should go a lot faster. All right, so my microphone was not turned on when I recorded this, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover. So the drywall is filled, taped, mudded, sanded, and um, it's pretty good. There are a couple spaces where there is some tape here that, that bubbled, and we needed to cut that out, and then I'll need to fill that back in. Um, again, a couple potholes there. It will fill in and sand down. Um, but overall, it's it's you know 80% of there's another spot there with the, the 
the tape bubble that will fill. Um, but sand it down, there's just a couple of high spots that I'll need to feather out a little bit. Near this seam here, I'll need to feather that out a little bit more as well. You can kind of see with uh, this, this knife, you can see there's a little bit of a hump there, so I need to feather out more and ease that transition. But by and large, just a couple touch ups, and um, we'll be ready for primer. There's a spot up there, too, so just little things to clean up. So I've gone and filled in those spaces and have sanded, and we're really pretty much set now for primer. I'm pretty happy with it. It's my first really full wall that I've framed and drywalled out. So I know there's uh, pros that would be a lot more efficient, a lot better. I know I made some mistakes, but I think for what it is, it's going to be good. You can see that old spot that was, I had to rip that tape out, it was filled and sanded, and now it's all smooth. All the screw holes are filled and sanded. The edge in this corner is all smoothed out. Uh, now we're ready to prime this up and we'll put that PVC trim here at the bottom and then finally get able to prime the paint and get inside. So the wall is primed and we're about to put on the paint. Uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, looks pretty clean, especially around the, you know, the edges, the corners. Pretty happy with it. All the way down here. That's that cinder block. It's got that black flex all paint there to keep out moisture. And looks pretty good. We're going to do our trim at the bottom. Get that drywall off the garage concrete. And then we've got this other space here that we've got to clean up this with some insulation foam. So we'll have our uh, trim. And I'll just figure out a way maybe to clean it up a little bit, but that way it's at least airtight and it keeps the heat inside the fish room to cold out here in the garage. Because it's about 24 degrees outside right now. 26 in the garage. <clears throat> so we're gonna get to painting. All we're doing is now when you do paint inside a garage, you still want to use interior paint just because you don't want the fumes of an exterior paint. So and the other thing you want to do is make sure you use a semi-gloss or satin. So we've just got just some mouse bar. Um, you know, we tinted it to semi-gloss interior. Since it's a little bit off-white, probably not gonna match the old paints, but whatever, it'll be close enough, and again, it's just a garage, and it'll be all clean and closer than bright white primer and some off-white color. So, here we go. All right, everybody, we're getting so close. I'm so excited. As you can see behind me, we've progressed a little bit, so stay tuned to the next video. If you want to see where we're at, we are almost ready to go inside the fish room after we get this wall finished here. Again, thank you so much for following along on this journey. It's definitely been a learning experience for me. I'm sure I'll learn a ton more. We're not even in the room yet. So please uh, consider subscribing if you want to continue to see what we're doing here. And um, like it, share it. And if you know anybody who's building a fish room, make sure you share this video with them. Or if, if you are, are building a room, be sure you comment below. Let me know how things are going for you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what happens next. All right, stay tuned for the next video.